Hello, and welcome to Candidates Upfront, a public interest election program of Berks Community Television and the League of Women Voters of Berks County. Our November 7th general election is coming up. Citizens who are 18 or older will vote for judges, school directors, and township, borough, and city officials. The deadline to register to vote is October 23rd. To check your voting status, go to vote.pa.gov. That's vote.pa.gov. You can register, change your party, locate your polling place, or apply for an absentee or mail-in ballot. And the deadline to apply for those is October 31st. If you are looking for information on statewide, school, or township races, or borough officials, please use the League's online voters guide, vote411.org. That's vote411.org. And for information on countywide and Reading candidates, please stay tuned. The League interviewed candidates in contested races, those who wanted to be interviewed. And for each race, the candidates got the same basic questions and had the same amount of time to answer them. For the League, I'm Judith Cranus, and let's begin. Hello, I'm Bill Litvin, a member of the League of Women Voters of Berks County. Two candidates are competing for the chance to be Berks County's controller. They are Democrat Ramirez Perez and Republican Joe Rutter Rowe. Uh, you may vote for one. Sorry about that, Joe. Uh, the controller is the accountant for and keeps the financial records for Berks County. The department has custody of all deeds, contracts, bonds, books, documents, and papers relating to the county's financial, financial affairs. The controller audits the accounts of all county officers, including magisterial district judges and tax collectors. The controller pays the bills and administers the payroll and the retirement fund. The controller serves on the salary board, prison board, and the Berks County Employees Retirement Fund Board. The term is four years. The salary for 2023 is $97,544. Each candidate's views are their own and not those of the League or BCTV. This interview is with Joe Ruddero. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Um, I wanted to, uh, and thank you for the correction on my last name. Um, it's uh, Joe Ruddero. And, Ruddero. Uh, absolutely. Ruddero. You told me ahead of time and I still uh, <laughs> messed it up. Well. That's my talent. Yeah, yeah. My secret talent. Well, you then just remember Rudder and Row and you're Rudder good. Rudder and Row. I so. knew that and I still messed it up. No problem. Uh, please tell our viewers about yourself and why you are running. Okay, hi. Um, thank you again to the League uh, for uh, having the candidates come together and, and uh, get before the voters of Berks County. Um, my name is Joe Ruddero. Uh, I live in Maiden Creek Township uh, with my wife Claudia and uh, we have six um, raised children. Uh, I guess they're no longer children if they're raised. but uh, and. Um, and so we've resided in Maiden Creek uh, since 2000. Um, and um, anyway, um, um, okay. And why are you running? What made you want to be controller? Well, I also uh, am a small business owner. I own an Ace Hardware store, and uh, I've been in business for 34 years. Uh, I am. Uh, I have been very involved in my local community uh, for the last 20 plus years. I have served uh, in various, on various boards in the township, Maiden Creek Township. Uh, I have been on their planning commission. I have uh, been elected auditor. I have served on the board of supervisors for two terms. And I also um, currently sit on their Maiden Creek Township Order Authority. So I have made a decision to um, really be involved in my community. And I really am looking forward to continuing to serve uh, the folks of Berks County, and I'm looking for, the, for their support in becoming the next county controller. Okay, my next question you've kind of answered a little bit, but you can add if you want. Sure. Please share your background and experience that prepares you for this job, some of which you've already told us. But. Well, I have, um, uh, just to go back and, and um, 
I attended the University of Delaware for uh, two years and then I transferred to Westchester University um, where I received my Bachelor's of Science degree from the uh, School of Business and Public Affair with my major being in criminal justice. Um, prior to getting into the hardware business, I had worked for R.H. Macy's as a loss prevention manager and I um, uh, spent about two years there before a business opportunity came along in which um, I decided to, to move ahead and that was getting uh, involved in buying the hardware business. Uh, over the last 34 years, I have um, grown a business uh, and, and every aspect of the business, there are uh, areas that would uh, have prepared me greatly for the role of controller. Uh, I have certainly um, anywhere from, you know, accounts payable, accounts receivable, uh, payroll, uh, and all of those are uh, certainly uh, areas that, it, that a business owner is uh, involved in. Okay. In, in business, there is one financial manager typically. <clears throat> But in county government, to provide checks and balances, there are three. The treasurer who handles income and investment, the controller who handles bookkeeping, auditing, and check writing, and the commissioner's budget and finance manager. Each office has a different agenda, different goals, and perhaps a different political philosophy. What personal qualities do you have that will help you make and maintain a good working relationship with the other financial offices? I would say that uh, my roles uh, in serving on, as on the Board of Supervisors, I would say that um, I had also served on two county boards. Uh, I have been on the Reading Area Transportation um, Committee, uh, spent six years um, serving on that board, and I also served on the Reading Regional Airport Authority Board. Uh, and I think that uh, that exposure to serving uh, on boards of that nature um, helps you to uh, determine how you can work well together with your colleagues in order to uh, move ahead and and do the right the um, you know take forward take the right action um, for whatever that issue might be before sure, you. Sure. Government accounting standards are different than business accounting standards. There are no profits, no losses. How will you learn these standards and adapt? How will you stay updated? Well, first of all, the, the, you're absolutely right. Business and government um, is uh, slightly different. I, I think that my years as a township supervisor in Maiden Creek uh, helped me realize that, that th those differences do exist. Um, and, you know, the greatest um, resource you have really are the people that, that are around you, the, the people that work in the department or or um, those that are doing certain parts of, of those types of audits. Um, so I think that uh, I would look at um, continuing to learn from those that work in the office that, that have been doing this day in and day out. Uh, but I'm also uh, uh, would take the time to really get to know that difference in terminology um, for the position because I think as, as the um, controller, you need to know every aspect of the controller's job. Professional accounting and auditing staff in the controller's office will need to stay updated to maintain their credentials. Do you feel continuing education is also needed for the accounts payable and other staff? I am actually, um, uh, I feel very strongly about continuing education. Uh, I think the important role in any organization, if it's a small business, if it's in um, government is to make sure that we are able to help our colleagues, the employees that work for you, continue to grow in their profession. Uh, and a lot of times uh, that requires additional training. It requires um, it, it, it requires um, that educational requirement. So um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of continuing education. I am a fan of all employees um, growing in their profession and getting stronger at what they can do. Uh, and I think that helps to build a great team. Okay. Uh, historically, the audits of county offices have sometimes been done by the controller staff and sometimes by outside accounting, oh, I'm sorry, outside auditing firms. Which do you prefer? Please explain why 
and please address the cost advantages of each. Well, I would say that I think that um, both would be uh, something that I would really want to look at. Uh, I think that the obviously the in-house auditing is very important because um, over time the audit team uh, knows what to look for and, and their eyes are on something so they might, might be able to really follow, uh, um, uh, follow the audit trail where it might lead. But I also think that outside eyes is also a good policy. Um, and so really it would determine or really depend on um, the expense on that outside uh, auditing firm. Uh, and there's different ways that, you know, you can have um, full-blown audits by outside firms, but you can also have um, audits that aren't quite as formal, and that way, um, you know, the cost might be, might be worth exploring. So I would look at, um, I think both are appealing to me, uh, but I think at the end of the day, uh, the dollars and cents might determine which way would be the best way to go. As controller, you will be a member of the prison board. What are your thoughts on when we should build a new prison, how large a facility we should have, and what programs the prison should have to prevent recidivism? Well, the, the prison, um, yes, uh, I believe that uh, there are plans in, in place to obviously build a new prison. Uh, that is going to be a, a very expensive undertaking. Uh, it's one that's necessary from my understanding. Um, and, you know, I would say that uh, once elected um, controller that, uh, and having spent a little bit time around the prison board, I probably would have a greater sense of what is needed there. Uh, I really don't have a lot of in-depth knowledge other than what I have heard um, either through the media uh, or uh, conversations that I might have had with, with uh, others. As controller, you will be a board member of the Berks County Employees Retirement Fund. Have you ever served on a board of a retirement fund? And what do you see as an important uh, for the investment policy of a retirement fund? Well, um, as a business owner, I provide a uh, 401k for my employees. And so um, I guess in a sense, uh, I am on my own board, if you will, in, in making sure that uh, we provide benefits to our employees. Uh, employees are very, very important uh, to any business. They're important to the county government, um, and, and it's, I feel that it's very important to make sure that they are um, compensated uh, accordingly and that, that the benefits uh, that are provided by the employer or the county are um, uh, good benefits that they need to continue to grow. I mean, this is how um, uh, retirees are going to be able to survive in the future. So I, I would say that um, I am, you know, pro-growth of any retirement fund. Okay. Um, do you have uh, thoughts for how they should choose advisors to manage the actual investments? Um, I think that um, I'm sure there's a process in place. I would imagine that through the RFP process, uh, the county looks at um, qualified organizations uh, to help manage that money. Uh, and, and, you know, the county right now has got a AAA bond rating. Uh, it's in very, very good uh, fiscal shape. Um, and, and so I have to believe that what they're currently doing seems to be working. And certainly as, as the controller, I'll be a part of that discussion. And I assure that if things um, change in any way, that I would uh, be very active in trying to protect um, the retirement. Excellent. Uh, what is the most important thing you would like to achieve if elected? Well, I know that for the last 20 some years, um, Sandy Graffius has done a fabulous job in, at the Berks County Controller's Office. And you know, Sandy had um, taken on some projects that have been, that have been very beneficial to the county. Um, she, she added in, I think, 2009, uh, put in a financial system known as Oracle, which is now what they're using, um, uh, the, the financial software that they're using. Um, I think that uh, also she had um, 
uh, realized in the controller's office the expense in generating a check, and I know that they have added a debit card program um, for election workers, and there's about 11, 1,200 election workers each cycle, and they've been able to uh, issue debit cards instead of checks. What most people don't realize is that when the county generates a check, that, there, that, it, that there's a cost associated with that, and that's roughly $38. But the other part of that is um, there, there's a, when a check is not canceled, or when a check is not cashed, and it needs to be canceled, there's additional charges. So, you know, it, you, so by going to and implementing a debit card program, uh, it seems to have really been a cost-saving measure. So I would say that my guess is that um, there are some things that Sandy did not get around to accomplishing, and I would certainly want to sit down and meet with her and find out what those um, items on her sheet might be and then figure out with the team how to move forward. Many taxpayers don't understand financial jargon. How will, tax, how will you keep taxpayers informed about their money? Well, I am a, um, I am a common sense conservative, financial conservative, uh, fiscal conservative, excuse me. Um, and, um, and I think I have a good way of relating to people. I will certainly um, make the reports that are um, uh, presented by the office to be uh, friendly to everyone so they understand exactly where their tax dollars are going. Are you active in any uh, volunteer organizations? I think you talked about this a little bit earlier. Please share what you do in your non-working time, if you have any non-working time. <laughs> well, I, I am very committed uh, in the causes that I am involved in. And of course, you know, uh, as a small business owner, you're always committed to making sure that things are running smooth. I've got a great management team in place, um, and um, you know, I, I do spend some time with that. Uh, I support a lot of good causes. Um, I might not be able to offer my time, mm -hmm. but financially I am supporting uh, several different organizations that I uh, feel are important. Okay, and please give us your closing statement. Hello, I'm Joe Ruttero, and I'm running to be your next county controller. Um, I am at respectfully asking that on November 7th that you will Make, you will vote for me and I will become the next county controller. I will bring 34 years of business management experience and I will bring 22 plus years of local government experience to the Berks County Controller's Office. I will be your fiscal watchdog and make sure that county government is very efficient and that it is not wasteful with our money. We all work too hard for the the money that we pay in taxes, and as your controller, I want to make sure that your money is wisely spent. Thank you, Joe Rotaro. Thank you. For sharing your views with us. Uh, viewers, please remember there is another candidate for uh, city, con for county controller, rather, uh, Ramirez Perez. You vote for one. Uh, you will find candidates upfront interviews on BCTV and its website and YouTube page. For more information on more candidates, go to the league's online voters guide, vote411.org. That's vote411.org, O-R-G. Or contact Berks County Election Services, elections at countyofberks.com, 610-478-6490. Um, and uh, please be prepared when you vote. Use vote411.org. Thank you for watching Candidates Up Front. I'm Bill Litvin. Good day.